All right, guys, so I want this vise for my work truck. And as you can see, the bumper's kind of flimsy. It's all rusted through, so we're going to cut it off and uh, take it home. So I don't have my tripod. I won't be able to record this, but see you in a bit. So we can see the screw turning back here in the handle. The jaws don't open or close. So we might be uh, rusted up in there. And I might get some free all. Shoot some in there. All right, guys, that's a lot better there. Just went ahead and filled that up. We're gonna let that soak down for a few minutes, an hour or something, and I'll come back to it. All right, guys, I got a Phillips here. Uh, Number two. Nope, it's stuck on there pretty good. I'm gonna repeat that maybe about two, three hundred times. <laughs> See how it goes. All right, guys, so we're making progress now. Every whack is about a sixteenth of an inch. So, we're getting there. We're at like almost four and a half. We're like four and three eighths. Ooh, there we go. Finally. So I'm gonna have to clean this um, somehow, find um, probably like a wire brush. I mean, there was a lot of uh, build up on here. Maybe I can just sand this down and uh, it'll probably work. Can you see that guys? I got sweat running everywhere. I didn't think I was going to take it apart today. I thought it was going to take two or three days. So. Looks good. There's just a few spots on there that are uh, roughened up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this and then I'll try to insert uh, that part in the vise. All right guys, there we go. I think we're getting closer to put some grease on here.
All right, guys, so we're going to use this color here. It's a Macy Ferguson Gray. Got this from Tractor Supply. And I don't know what color to go with, but I think this looks fine. And uh, like I said, I just covered the parts I didn't want to paint. I am going to be replacing the handle on this bolt in the future. I just got to order it, but uh, we're still going to go ahead and paint it. All right, all right, guys. So we got the vise all painted up. Like I said, I didn't know it was oil-based paint, and it took like 48 hours to dry. You know where I feel comfortable touching it, and I'm missing some parts I need to order, which are the pins that go in here. I still got to take off this section that snap and the two pins on the back over here. Got to take off the two pins, and I need to get the cover. If not, water and sand's going to get in there and it's going to mess it up again. And I also got to replace these handles here. These are about 70 bucks, I believe, for both of them. And uh, I'm trying to find the cover for it as well. But for right now, we're going to put some grease on it, assemble it, and, uh, you know, try it out. And and then uh, order parts and work on it. I just I need got some regular... Uh, multi-purpose uh, lithium grease on here that I found in the shed and I'm just going to spread it all in here I didn't want to use my hands for this, but I may. A lot of extra grease on there. Get my screwdriver.
And like I said, this is not a full restore. I'm just trying to get it somewhat operational to use it. And I'm going to store it while I get the, the parts ordered. Hitting it with a sledgehammer. Now this little clip here is going to hold the the screw mechanism in place and that's uh, how could I say the screw uh, screws up in in this nut here but I'm missing those uh, those pins there as y'all can see it's closing right there and you got that play because of that the missing pins but hopefully y'all like the way the vice looks and um, now I'm just waiting on parts to finish it up it's about a six to eight hundred dollar vice depending on where you uh, buy them and um, doesn't look too beat up and uh, I think it will last a while Alright guys, so see you on the next video. Bye-bye.